guys, and welcome to the Patrick and Shay Show. <laughs> oh, that was pretty perfect. <laughs> I was scrolling through Instagram and I was so inspired by Desi Perkins, one of our favorite YouTubers. Yes, Desi. She is so major. It was this pink eye that she did, so I'm gonna do my version of it. I'm gonna start off by applying some soft ochre. This is by MAC. Right onto the eyelids. This honestly just sets the eyes so then your eyeshadow can last like throughout the whole entire day. So I'm gonna apply just a little bit of foundation. I'm, I'm using La Mer. This is Honey 43. I think this is the color that you use when you, when you do yeah. your own makeup too. But I put a little bit on the back of my palm and I'm just gonna apply this just right onto the eyelids. I always do this because I often do Shay's eyes prior to her foundation. So you want like a nice layer of foundation um, that's gonna be matching the rest of her skin. So I'm gonna set Shay's eyelids with a little bit of powder. So you wanna do this just so that it allows your eyeshadow to just glide on super easily so there's no skipping. This really just makes the blending process that much easier. For those of you guys who don't know, um, Shay and I have been working together for almost five years now and um, I've honestly, I've learned so much from you because you, you, you get your makeup done by the best of the best people so She's like, she is telling me products. I'll come in with like a new, I'm like a little spy for everybody. I'm like, what, there's this eyelash So what's Ariel color. using? <laughs> so what's Ariel using? Ariel. Everybody. Okay, yeah, you guys are so talented. So I'm gonna start off by using the Too Faced Just Peaches Mattes. Um, I'm gonna go in probably one of these two colors, either Just Peachy or Fresh Picked. You're super into mattes right now. I am super into mattes. I feel like the last three times that we've landed, you're like, is that a matte, is, is that shimmer? No, no, no. <laughs> I'm liking a more matte look on the eye because I think that with the skin, you know, we do a really nice glow and a little bit of a highlight that I don't want there to be too much sparkle on the eyes and on the skin and on the lips and the gloss. Anyways, I'm trying to be more natural. So when you have a matte eyeshadow, mm -hmm. it tends to photograph better because it, if it's not controlled lighting, exactly. sometimes your eyes can look like different shapes and... Yep, I agree. So I'm using Fresh Pick, just right on the crease, wiping motions. So once you feel that most of your eyeshadow is nice and blended and off your brush, you can slowly just blend up into the brow bone so everything looks nice and diffused. So what you use this as like a guide almost? Yeah, it makes like the eyeshadow blending a little bit easier mm. for me. I'm not that artist where I can make it perfect, like, perfect without this, so I have to, I need a little help. So the next color I'm gonna be using is Peach Punch. Again, in the crease as well. I know that Desi's eye was more pink, but I don't have the exact products, so I'm gonna use like a undertone, but also I have a really nice pink that, I'm, pink. Pink that I'm gonna add in the end. Ooh. Major. I'm just gonna put this right into the crease and build the color up. You don't need to put too much on the lid because you wanna focus the color more on the actual crease because we're gonna cut the crease and add like a nice, beautiful, pinky, like shimmery shade, even though She's not into shimmer, but this is for YouTube. I'm so lucky because like all my clients, like they love, 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 love makeup. And like, you know what a good makeup artist is and like you like know what good makeup is. And I love that you like are so open to like, trying like different looks. I don't think there's any look when it comes to makeup I would ever say no to. I just think it's, you know, fun. Why now are, are, are people so much more into trying new like colors, new looks, and it's like, it's more like acceptable before, like if you like had like blue or green eyeshadow on, right. you're like, what are you wearing? Right. I think it's because we have so many of like, honestly, the influencers are influencing people to try new things. You know, and I think with all the tutorials that are now online, um, you too can figure out how they did it, you know, and make it work. If I had tutorials like YouTube back when I was in high school, I mean, my makeup would have been way better, but I didn't. It's sometimes when, when I leave a client's house, I'm like, oh, I could have done that so much better, or I just wish I did this differently. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, like, I'm so scared how it's gonna photograph. And then there's right. sometimes when we're like, oh my God, you, you look, it. you look amazing. Like, I'm yeah. so excited for the photos. And how many times have you left my house and been like, ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Um, so many times because you get your, make your makeup done by the best of the best. So like, it keeps me on my toes. It makes me want to learn more and um, need to learn more. Time for the fun part. So Ooh. this is the Huda Beauty Electric Obsessions and I'm gonna be using this hot pink shade. That is such a pretty pink. I really just wanna pack the pigment right onto the area that I want it. Slowly diffuse it into the rest of the eyeshadow. 
I'm not gonna put too much onto the lid because again, I'm gonna be cutting that crease. I never do it on clients, but like I'm so into it when I see it on Instagram. <laughs> what a crease? Like a cut crease. I just think it makes everything look so like boom, like like done. Like, yeah, I agree. I feel like your makeup game has evolved so much. Over like the years, every single year. As we've all evolved. <laughs> the glow up for all of us. I also find it super endearing when I look back at like old carpet photos and sometimes I'm like, oh. Great, post them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I mean, hey, we were all young once, except for when I look at like these young girls now, again, they look amazing at 13. Like where was that ugly stage for any of them now? I know, there's no ugly stage anymore. Crazy. Back in the day, like you probably thought, like I look fucking. I look, oh, I, I mean, loved it. I look great. Yes, I'm killing with my bleach it. blonde hair and this, blue contacts. I look, I look amazing. Yes. Why do you think we look back and we're like, uh, why? Can you believe we did that? Or I think it's because, like we said, you know, it's always evolving. It's constantly changing. Makeup trends, hair trends. Back in the day, I thought having two long pieces of like hair in front of my face was the hottest thing. It was. You know, well, you were too young for that. But anyways, it was a thing, I swear. So this is a little bit more pink than Desi, so guys, don't judge, but I'm gonna take these off now. You said we were doing a variation. So yeah, we're doing fine. a variation. We were, we're, doing, we're doing a Desi inspired. I was, actually, no, I lied. I was I was trying to do her exact look, but I don't know what I just did, so it's inspired now. It's inspired, okay. So I'm gonna use a little wipe just to clean up I'm gonna take a little bit of concealer and now I'm just gonna cut the crease. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have you open your eyes. So like, you wanna see where like your, your natural crease opens. That's the area that you wanna put on the concealer. And then when I get more towards the end, I'm kinda just blending the concealer into the eyeshadow so there's no like harsh line right there. I've never done, done this before either, so this is a new thing for me. Did you think that when you asked me if I wanted to try this look out, like we weren't gonna film it? <laughs> no, yeah, I thought I was just gonna do it for, oh, yeah. for the gram. No, we film it. Film it for you guys. That's why this is a fun time. You know, there's like no pressure. This is, I never get to do this too. No, we never so do. Thank you so much for letting me do this. This is the first time in maybe four years that I've done makeup that, oh my that isn't for like a carpet or for like right. a event or for a photo shoot. Like Ariel. I need to do this more often. Like I you need to You heard this. it here. More tutorials coming from Patrick Ta. This is, I think by NARS. So I'm gonna take a flat brush and just pop this just right on. By putting concealer on the lid, it just makes like gives colors it a way like better this. Canvas. Yeah, it gives color. It, it gives like light colors like this a nice thing to like stick onto. What I think is really cool about this video is that you are a professional makeup artist and you're trying to do something that you haven't done before. So you Desi, know? if I'm butchering your, your makeup, like I'm so sorry. No, but that's what this is all about, is you want to go out there and try things. Because if you butcher it, then like, who cares? Back to the pink, I'm going to take this pink shade. I want it to look nice and gradient, so I'm just going to blend the two colors together. You always want to blend with, with a matte color here. You don't ever want to blend with a shimmer. For, on the corner? Uh, yeah, on the corner. I'm going to go in with a shade like this. So this is a little angled, like, fat oh, brush. Wow. We're going to put this just, like, right onto the lash line, just so it gives it a little bit of depth on the outer end. It's like a liner, but not, right? Yeah, a smudgy liner. I'm taking the colors that I used on the crease, and I'm going to now finish out the bottom lash line. This is fresh picked from the Too Faced palette and we're gonna put this just right onto the bottom lash line so everything looks nice and diffused and blended together and then I'm just I'm gonna take a little bit of that pink and bring it underneath just a nice little pop underneath there's this look that Shay always does the first time I did her makeup she did this look in the mirror, it's my mirror and, face look. and I was I was like because you thought I didn't like it yeah because yeah. you look in the mirror and you're like I know, I can't help it. Everybody's talked about it. I mean, yeah, mirror face look. It's just how I, I, for some reason, enjoy my reflection when my eyebrows are furrowed and I look angry. I don't know why. Esquito in Starlet. I always make sure that I cut off the end, kind of measure them, and I'll cut like a little bit more or a little bit less just before I cut. Put them on your lash for this to see how it looks. Ta-da! Ta Eyelashes are magically on. Final step for the eyes is I'm gonna put a little bit of like an inner highlight glow. So I'm gonna take this. So this is. The, oh! <laughs> oh no! Honey. This is my favorite. Favorite. Um, skin. Oh, better ask for more of that. This is the Dior Backstage Pass. So I'm gonna using this like light white shade, and we're gonna put this just right into the inner tear duct to give you that extra papau. Do you have like one thing that's like a Patrick Ta thing that like, 
you know how chefs have like a tsung or like a their own little thing. What do you think is your like make Patrick Todd touch? Do you have something? No. I know what it is. <laughs> what is it? I would say it's like you're very good at doing like a glowy skin. Mm -hmm. Let me start the skin now. Well, no, actually, you guys got to see how we did this eye, but that glowy skin that I was just talking about is gonna have to be in another video, so you will have to check that out. Goodbye, we are cutting. <laughs> and we're back, just like that. We have lashes, we have this Patrick Ta glow. Look at this skin, though. I mean... Super glowy, right? Ooh. We're gonna do one more thing for you guys. I'm gonna show you guys how I line and use Lipstick. This is a Buxom lipstick. Lump line. Lump line. It's called the. It's called Hush Hush. Yeah. It's the perfect everyday lip color. I feel like this is like what you wear like every day. Every every day. This is a lipstick, but also I can use it as a lip liner because mm -hmm. the pencil is like so great and sharp. And I'm gonna actually just draw this and trace Jay's lip line and kind of like blend in as we go. So I chose this color because because. We did like a pink eye, like a pinky blush. And you want to find a lip that is in the same undertone. Yeah, a hot pink lip may have been a little too much. Yeah, so this is like semi-nude, semi-flesh tone. So what's really great about this lipstick too is that it also has a dual-ended brush. So you can like blend it out with the brush on the other side of the pencil. What I'm going to be using on the rest of the lips, this is in the color Soft, Soft Whisper. Whisper. This is the Pillow Pout Creamy, Creamy Plumping, Plumping Lip, Lip Powder. Powder. Ooh, look at you. So a little twisty twist. How do you get more product out? So what you do is you put it into the lid, you twist, and then there's product in the actual cap of the lid. So, <laughs> use that as a little applicator. <laughs> yes. And then you just put that right onto the lips. Ta-da! That was awesome. And this is our Desi-inspired eye mm -hmm. makeup tutorial. Yeah, but because you put your own spin on it. Mm. Sexy alien? <laughs> she thinks she looks like an alien. No, like a cool little like intergalactic. <laughs> like, do I not look like that with this pink eye? No, it's a little spacey. Okay, cool. I would definitely rock this look on a carpet. I would do a like really simple, cool black dress or something. So hopefully you guys liked that. I sure did. And as you can see, we are always learning no matter what field you are in. If you guys want to see the foundation, leave in the comments below. That you want to see the Patrick Ta glow because we can definitely shoot that video for you. It just couldn't be in this one because you already got the eyes. See what I'm saying? Thank you guys. And let us know in the comments below what makeup look you would like to see next in addition to this.